Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More and standing outside one of our recently completed fix and flips. Um, bought this one for 120000 a few months ago. Just got it all fixed up, so we'll go over the numbers and everything that's going on. Um, this one is located on a somewhat busy street, which hurts it, but it will be one of the most affordable houses in the area. Um, we do well in that price range, in that niche. Um, but on the outside you can see, we did paint the trim, put our roof, didn't do a whole lot else. But we'll take a look inside and see everything. Of course, make sure you check out investformore.com for more information on my flips. I think we're down to 13 now. We haven't been buying as many and have a few sold. All right, so um, the before video will be in the description um, where you can take a look at that. Bought this house with tenants in place. So it was a deal from the MLS, bought it for 120,000, but there are tenants here and they were on a month to month lease. However, um, they're only paying like $500 a month where market rent for this house is probably $800 a month at the very minimum. So they did not want to leave. And what we ended up doing is offering them $500 to just leave when they're supposed to, leave the house in decent shape. They accepted and we got possession of the house oh, a couple months after we bought it. Um, we put in new carpet, new paint, a few new windows, new doors, new fixtures, uh, this bathroom, Right here, whoa, that light is going crazy. <laughs> um, new tile, new tub, vanity, and we reconfigured it a little bit. It had a weird wall in the tub on the wrong side, so we fixed that, and that, yeah, we'll have to get that light fixed, obviously. And here is one, the other bedroom. See new doors. Um, we put carpet in this house, just because it's the most economical thing we can do is cheaper than hardwood obviously, uh, cheaper than the laminate, and in this price range you don't have to make a house super duper fancy to get it sold. It just has to be in decent shape. So we spent probably about thirty to thirty five thousand on the repairs and um, we'll be listing it for one ninety nine nine. Um, probably get multiple offers at that price. Uh, if you saw my video from last week, the yellow house, we listed that one at 2079, and we had four offers on it, three of them over asking price, got it under contract today. So I'll, I'm gonna do a full video on that one with the before and after video together, all the numbers, the contracts, things like that, once that one's completely sold. But as you can see, just put vinyl sheet flooring back here because we don't have to do anything fancy in the house in this price range. The kitchen, um, let's go back to real quick. You can see the microwave is at a weird angle with the stove and that wasn't how we drew up the plans. That's, that, that's how they ended up. And I'm also not a huge fan of those countertops, but that's how it looks right now. And like I said, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, house should still have no problem selling. Right down there is the cellar. Um, not much down there, one little room. The furnace, hot water heater. And then we have the backyard. So we painted the outside of the garage. It had peeling paint. Um, for FHA guidelines, you can't have peeling paint for it to qualify for a loan. But looking at it right now, it still has peeling paint. It doesn't look like the painter did a very good job getting the old paint off, so we might have to address that as well. A few building supplies that we'll need to get out of here, but nothing super fancy, just a nice little garage. And right here has a little workshop area. And if you look at the before video, it had a crazy covered awning thing that was falling down. We just took that out, tore it down, and uh, I think it looks a lot better that way. 
Um, it is winter in Colorado, so we don't do much with landscaping this time of year. We don't have to do much with landscaping. The fence is not amazing either, but it would probably cost at least 5,000, maybe more, to replace this entire fence, and it would not bring that much more money than what we'll get without replacing it. And another thing to consider too, is if you make houses super nice, you fix every single thing, um, you're gonna run into appraisal issues. At 199.9, if that's what we ask, we might get it under contract at 205, maybe even 210. We might run into appraisal issues at that point. And if we tried to make the things much nicer, um, people have mentioned putting in granite counters, hardwood floors, things like that. We could do that on this house. We could ask 215,000 for it. We might get it, but it would be really hard to get an appraisal to come in at value because there haven't been any comps selling in that price range that are similar to this house. So as a flipper, it doesn't make sense to do those extra things in this price range because it will be um, one of the cheapest nice houses in the entire area. We just searched oh, a five mile radius around here. We're in Greeley, Colorado. And that includes Evans, a bunch of other small towns, probably 150,000 population. There's one house actively for sale under 200,000 in the entire area. Um, there are five mobile homes that are for sale under 200,000 that are actively for sale. That is it. Everything else is under contract, not available. So for those of you who think our prices are kind of crazy on our houses, it is actually one of the most affordable houses in the entire area. All right, so that's about all we've got for this video. Um, hopefully get this house listed right away. They're taking the dumpster out uh, this afternoon. Hopefully we'll get some more offers on it right away, get it under contract and uh, keep selling these quickly. All right, thanks for watching. Again, check out investformore.com for more information on all my flips, rentals, the podcast, all that good stuff.